here at All-Star Weekend 2008, it's time for the Sprite Slam Dunk Contest in New Orleans. You are in for something special tonight. I'm Ernie Johnson, and joining me is Greg Anthony, and we're about to get things started. Let's go courtside for Ladies player introductions. It's time for the main event. Give it up for tonight's Slam Dunk competitors. From the Boston Celtics, at six foot six, Paul Pierce. From the New York Knicks, at six foot nine, David Lee. Pierce is our first dunker of the round. Let's see what he'll pull from his bag of tricks, Greg. Well, let's see what he comes up with here. I'll see if he can make this happen off the toss. Off the shot clock. Oh, and he just beat the clock on that one, EJ. Again, not a bad dunk. It won't hurt him in the overall competition. You are a tough judge. Come on now. You got to bring it if you want to get a 50. That's like an 8 or a 9. I mean, it's nice, but could be better. Well, he managed to get almost all nines from our judges there. That'll give him 44 for the attempt. <laughs> he definitely was not going to get 10s for that. I think he got a pretty good score, and I think that was warranted. Let's see what he's got in his bag of tricks. That'll really work. Nothing like a, just an explosive athlete just being emphatic with the thing. And watch the backboard shake. <laughs> That's bananas, straight bananas. You gotta give it up. And there it is, a perfect score. Look at him, again, acting like that was no big deal. And he just became a legend. We'll be seeing that dunk in every highlight film from now until forever. Now this could be fun off the clock. Let's see what he's got in mind. I have got no idea how you do that. How can you get a kickball off the shot clock and incorporate that into a slam dunk? That is impressive. Again, these guys, the skill level, the athletic ability reminds me of how you thought your game was, EJ. Oh, we're going to have to change the scale after that dunk. Let's give them all 11. There it is, a perfect score, Greg. Okay. Right now, I'm saying it. He is officially one of the baddest dunkers on the planet. Well, let's see if he's got the creative juices flowing here. Off the great athletic ability, the guy does a good job of maneuvering his body and definitely puts on a show, but I don't know that it's going to impress the judges. That is too easy. You got to get it down, but that's too safe. He's not getting better than, say, a 7 or an 8. He did get a couple of 8s in there, but the rest are 7s and a total of 37. You called it, Greg. Come on. EJ, you need to get people excited if you want to score in the 9s and 10s. You cannot keep going with the basic dunks. Putting a lot of thought into this, and here he goes off the clock. And he does! Oh, that's what legends are made of right there. Coming through with flying colors. You gotta love the versatility and the way he handled the pressure. This is clutch. There's your champ. That'll do. That'll decide it. He'll be our champion for this year's NBA Slam Dunk Competition. It's gonna have to be all tens for him. He needs a perfect score. Now, this could be good. Uh-huh. No, oh, I don't think so. Well, if you want to win the title, you have to earn it, Ernie. Well, you said that with such authority. Unfortunately, he didn't have much authority on that dunk. Not nearly enough. Not enough, Greg. That means that this competition is officially decided. The new NBA slam dunk champion is Paul Pierce. Yes, folks, it's over. Paul Pierce is the NBA slam dunk champion. The high flyers have showed us their best, and now the champion will be awarded his trophy.